Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, back with the video. And in this video, uh, I just want to show you having a directional antenna makes a whole lot of difference. Uh, when, you, when it comes to receiving a signal and things like that. Uh, so that's the video is all about that how I can use a directional antenna so if you can look at it uh, the directional antenna that is mounted on my hack RF it is actually a Yag Yuda antenna uh, that operates at 2.4 gigahertz region and also you can see on my SDR angel graph that uh, this video is going to be a smaller video that I am trying to look for a signal at 2.44 gigahertz I mean that makes a whole lot of difference when it comes to using a directional antenna that to receive my signal. Having to change the location by moving the antenna around, I can see the signal strength on my spectrum and also on my waterfall graph as well. Now, just to show you the difference, if I unscrew this uh, and just you need to compare it yourself in this video that if I were to just change the antenna itself, to a only directional antenna, uh, I mean the signal quality is not going to be as good. But I mean it's there, but uh, it's not as good as the directional antenna, which is this. This is specifically designed at 2.4 gigahertz. Let me just unscrew this. And I'll show you what that is. Uh, even though without an antenna, it's also capturing the signal. But let me just simply unscrew this antenna. Let me just tighten this up a little bit. All right. And here's my uh, Wi Fi jammer. Uh, so I'm going to transmit this and I'm going to move the location of this antenna, and then you will see the strength of this jammer. Uh, you might not. Uh, after this, my voice will not be much clearer because I'll be using the input mic uh, that is available on my laptop. Uh, but uh, let's just look at it. Let me plug in my jammer. After plugging in my jammer, as you can see, the jamming effect is coming in. And this is where the signal strength, most of the signal strength is lying. And this is, the, this is where my antenna is. Now, when I change the location, so I can use these antennas for directional purposes, when I move the antenna, you can see the antenna strength going down. The redness is going down, even though my antenna is free. When I bring this to closer to my uh, antenna, only directional antenna, so which means I can easily use these directional type of antennas along with my SDR to, to find the location. So I can also find the direction of my antenna uh, of my source as well and uh, that depends because these they operate based on uh, directionality uh, because their beam width is much smaller as compared to a monopole antenna which is mounted on my jammer or any type of a dipole antenna. This thing has a smaller beam width hence you have better relative gain as compared to these uh, uh, DBIs of these uh, omnidirectional monopole and dipole antennas. So by just simply moving around, so if I were to go in, I won't be able to see much of an signal strength when I bring it closer. So that's the purpose. That's what I wanted to show you guys in this video, that the importance of these directional antennas, how important these guys are uh, when it comes to uh, using these antennas for for direction finding and things like that so i hope you find this uh, small tutorial to be helpful if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching